Thank you, Omar. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for having me. Uh, so I'm going to talk uh, very quickly about the cost of managing cloud with Cloud Custodian and how it can help you. Uh, first, who I am, uh, I've administered Cloud Custodian at scale for over a year. Uh, we had a multi-account environment, so we use uh, C7 and R. Uh, I taught and trained a lot of people to use it, not only people from my team, but also people from different teams as well. Uh, myself, I created dozens of policies with Cloud Custodian, but I also helped other people to create it and maintain the, their code and gave man maintenance as well. So everything that went into production at some point, I reviewed it as well. Uh, recently, I became a AWS community builder. So this is uh, very uh, something that I'm very grateful for. So uh, for, before we head into the positives of custodian and et cetera, we need to, to talk about why it's important. So recently, uh, and even more present in the pandemic, the move for cloud is being very, very, very uh, increased, right? There are a lot of companies moving to cloud and those companies, they don't have the experience and they're not used to, to the vulnerabilities that this move comes with. So there are a, a ton of known issues that people from the area know about, like, we, we got a few examples here on the screen, uh, SKS, SNS, S3, uh, which are resources that are known to, to cause issues if you're too permissive with it, uh, same as security groups, uh, roles with uh, a trust relationship to open, to permissive. All that stuff is highly dangerous to your environment. And it's, well, it's not to be dramatic, but one mistake is enough to, to cause a data breach and cause damage uh, to your organization in image, All right? So this is more specific for uh, AWS. So we couldn't talk about governance as a tool without uh, approaching config as well. So config is, well, it's a group. Uh, sorry, stop sharing for a moment. Is it back? Okay. Yes, it's back. Uh, uh, it's a great tool, but there comes a, a, a surprise price tag on it sometimes. So the way it works, you're billed for each recording of the events that happen. So if you you got a dynamic environment, uh, if it's uh, you're deploying constantly, there are a lot of changes, a lot of scaling actions. Those things can rack up your your billing pretty high. And if you're new to the cloud, if you don't have a big company, uh, you can't have that as a obstacle for you to adopt a governance tool. So AWS Lambda, however, it's a pretty cheap service and it keeps job getting cheaper. So last year, we, we significant change to the Lambda as well. We got the billing uh, down to the millisecond instead of uh, per 100 milliseconds. So that uh, decreased Lambda cost across the board. Uh, previously, Kapil uh, mentioned that they might look into having the Graviton 2 uh, Lambdas. So that will also decrease uh, the cost for the service if it comes uh, to Cloud Custodian as well. So not only that, the, the pricing of the tool, uh, there's also the price of development. So you don't only have to to, to have the rules for config. And if, if you're, you're talking about uh, remediation and uh, like we've saw in other presentations, real-time security, uh, a lot of those rules in config and other tools, they, they're they only detective. So you still need to code the remediation, right? So that's a, a pretty specific skill set to know. 
you got to know about the security that you want to achieve. You got to know about AWS and you got to know about code. So that's a hard professional to find, correct? So uh, Cloud Custodian really, uh, that's a, a very big highlight because with Cloud Custodian's DSL, uh, using basically YAML, it's a language that everyone in this, uh, in IT is getting pretty familiar with it. And if they don't know it yet, it's very easy to learn. And uh, at, the, at the end of the day with Cloud Custodians DSL, uh, policies, they, they, they end up being very readable, very condensed. So it's pretty, pretty easy to understand what's, what are, uh, what's going on if you take a look at a, a Cloud Custodian repository or anything like that. So I'm sorry for the upscaling here. It might be a little bit blurry, not, I'm not sure. But here is a uh, config rule with remediation for S3 encryption. It's being deployed through CloudFormation. So you don't really get uh, a lot of information here. It's pretty hard to read and give maintenance to. But in, right here, we got a, a simple policy uh, as you can see, it does the same for the filters here. It just checks for encryption. If not uh, enabled, it uh, it resolves that issue. So you can see how, how much easier it is. So this here is just for the configuration for real time. That is, uh, for, for most of the servers, uh, pretty easy to build. So we saw uh, John's presentation previously. Uh, so uh, in the, the last point about the, the speed of the development is Cloud Custodian already has a lot of pre-built filters and actions that enable your environment to, to do it quickly. So you don't need to code any, anything new. You just need to find the right configuration, what's right for your environment, what's the, the, the correct compliance, what is the the, the security rules that you guys have. And for most of the known issues that we, we, we see in the cloud today, uh, Cloud Custodian already has a solution for you. So S, SNS, SQS, uh, S3, uh, public, e public instances and unauthorized AMIs, that's already there. Uh, you can save a lot of time for, for your developers just by picking this tool up uh, and you can quickly test and deploy those rules, uh, and you don't have to go through uh, the entire programming, the entire programming experience that you would have uh, if you're using other tools or using the, the or, or building this automation by yourself. So, not only that, uh, well, one thing that's uh, good to remind uh, everyone, but that we are seeing in this event today. Uh, Cloud Custodian has a really big community and it's very active. So personally, I have gotten help from Kapil, from, from, from a lot of people from Stacklet, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't be able to just uh, place one name here on, on Gitter. So a lot of people just help you out and they guide you through your process as well, which makes it very smooth in the in the long run and not only that right at first people are going to to come to, to cloud custodian for security and you're going to save a, a decent amount of 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 money by using a tool like this but you can continue saving up uh, by adopting cloud custodian for uh as a FinOps tool or cost management tool or governance tool. So it's a good, uh, since you're already using, it's a good point to start taking a look, to look at rules that help you with that. So this here is a repo from a, uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, we work together on Cloud Custodian and I took care mostly of security stuff and he took care mostly of uh, FinOps stuff. So it's a good place to take a look and see the rules and see how, how see how much Cloud Custodian can help you. So some references here. 
And if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer. But if you feel like you're, this is not the forum for you, uh, you can reach out to me and we can discuss your, your situation as well. Uh, because of, well, this is a public event. And if you have some issues here uh, regarding security rules, you, you might not feel like this is good for it. Thank you so much, Carl. I know I messaged as well, but it's pretty late for you already. I'm sure there are a lot of attendees that are even in later time zones as well. Um, and it's a holiday in Brazil, so I've seen a lot of people from there. Um, and I also, uh, but we really appreciate your time and everything. Um, and uh, I'm sure the community is willing to, you know, work with you a lot more. Uh, any questions for Carl? I'll give everyone a few minutes. Um, are there any questions in the Q and A? I know it takes a minute, so. So how long have you been working with on custodian, Carl, while we wait? Uh, since uh, I think roughly March last year. Yeah, I, I got a couple of buddies here. They're probably uh, taking print screens of my face and then <laughs> making memes out of it. Yeah, I, I could see that. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining in. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying um, Cloud Custodian Day. Yep, George is talking about. Yeah, I, I'm going to join on the documentations meetings on this this Friday, Georgie. Uh, I'm trying to move around my my lunch breaks too, so that I can catch up with you guys. Great. Uh, with that, any any questions? We'll wait a minute. Yeah, share those memes as well that your friends are making right now. We'd love to see too. <laughs> I will on, on Friday. <laughs> I tweet as much as you want. So we'll take uh, WhatsApp exclusives. Okay. Yeah, no, great presentations. I'm sure if we uh, get any more questions, we'll let you know. Um, sure. they, I did check all the cues. I did not miss anything. Uh, but it seems like everyone appreciated your time. And with that, uh, I'll in 